praise god praise god hallelujah come on in everyone welcome back to my channel i am angela hunt and i'm here with another teaching for you today i am here to teach on the topic of unfriendly friends and to expose those snakes in human form that are camouflaging themselves in and around your life I will expose some of the strategies and tactics that they often use, the signs to look out for, how to identify them, and how to have victory over them. Many times we mistakenly conclude that our enemies are attacking us from far away, but the truth of the matter is that your real enemies are usually closer to you than you think. They can be found in and around your life where they are covertly attacking you under the guise of a friendship or a bosom body. Those types of so-called friends, fake friends, false friends are called frenemies or on friendly friends let's now look at who are unfriendly friends unfriendly friends are people who you know people in your life who pretends to be your friend but secretly they hate you simply put they are people who pretend to be your friend but they are actually your enemies an unfriendly friend is one that plots evil against you and betrays your trust through deception they are filled with envy, jealousy, and silent anger against you, but they mask it with fake smiles and laughter. Proverbs 27 verse 4 says that anger is cruel and wrath is like a flood, but jealousy is even more dangerous. People of God, envy and jealousy are very dangerous. They are diabolic. Envy and jealousy is likened to that of witchcraft. The unfriendly friend in your life could be one, a close friend, two, a best friend, three, a neighbor, four, a co-worker, five, a church brother or sister, or six, a family member. Glory be to God. Now you see, the concept of unfriendly friend is not a new concept. In fact, this thing has been around from Bible days, which is centuries ago. I do concur with King Solomon in Ecclesiastics 1 verse 9, where he says that there is nothing new under the sun this concept of unfriendly friend is not new it has been around from the bible days and it's something that continues through throughout this day so we cannot be ignorant of the devices of unfriendly friends So God, let me now take you to the Bible to show you some evidence of unfriendly friend that is in the Bible. Let me take you to Psalms first. In Psalms 41 verse 9, it says, Yea, my own familiar friend in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, had lifted up his heel against me. My God, in this psalm, David was heartbroken because his dear friend, his best friend, the one in whom he trusted completely, the one in whom he shared his food, his meals, has turned against him and betrayed him. The moat David had fed has now turned around to bite him. My God, the same thing is happening today in this modern era. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's happening around me and it is happening around you. Psalms 55 verse 12 to 14 says, For it was not an enemy that reproached me, then I could have borne it. Neither was he that hated me that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, a man, mine equal, my guide, mine acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked unto the house of God in company. My God, my God, say unfriendly friend, fake friends, false friends. God expose them. God unmask them today in Jesus' name. In this other psalm, David was once again heartbroken. His spirit was crushed because it was a very close friend who he had good sweet fellowship with, with whom he walked with the church that turned against him. This person was a brother in Christ, 
a church goer, someone who associates themselves with God that has betrayed him. This also concludes that your unfriendly friend could also classify themselves as a Christian. They could also be a church goer, but all of this could be under disguise to deceive you that they are true, genuine persons. Every person across the world, whether they are saved or not, they can put the name Judas beside the name of a betrayer. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's one of the biggest betrayers in the Bible. Hallelujah. Judas was one of Jesus' 12 disciples. He walked, he talked, he ate, he fellowshiped with Jesus. But secretly, Judas was an unfriendly friend, a false friend. Judas pretended that he loved Jesus so much, but he was the very one that betrayed Jesus. He even sealed his betrayal with a kiss to Jesus. Say, Lord, remove every unfriendly friend from my life in Jesus' name. People of God, this teaching, this message is to enlighten you, to shine your eyes brightly, that you cannot be naive to the concept of fake friends, false friends, or unfriendly friends. They are there. Most of them are among us. We can't be naive that they are all green snakes in green grass. And I just want us to be very vigilant and sober in this season so that the venom of our unfriendly friend may not take us down. Luke 22 verse 3, then entered Satan into Judas, surname Iscariot, being of the number of 12. Now, this scripture is saying that Satan had entered Judas an evil spirit had entered Judas and that is what propelled him to betray Jesus similarly Satan has entered many of them among us hallelujah they have entered them through the spirit of jealousy envy and hatred and these so-called friends now have become satanic agents or on friendly friends come on people of God any person who makes themselves available for the devil to use then the devil will use them glory be to God Jeremiah 17 verse 9 says that the heart of man is desperately wicked. We can never forget that scripture that no matter who we are dealing with, there is a propensity for their heart to be evil, for them to be wicked. If they have opened the door for Satan to enter their life, they can be used against you. Let's now look at some examples in real life of unfriendly friends. There are many instances in real life where it was discovered that a wicked wicked friend or an unfriendly friend was the primary reason why the victim friend suffered. Hallelujah. There are even occasions where the fake friend confessed that they were the one behind their problems and they did this out of jealousy. And this brings my mind back to a life deliverance I watched once, glory be to God, where a young lady came up for the man of God to pray for her. While the man of God was praying for her, he asked her, who is Suzanne? And I'm, I'm just using a name here he asked her who was Susan and the friend said Susan is my best friend the man of God said where is Susan she said that Susan is right here she's in the audience so the man of God called down Susan to the altar area where they were and the man of God asked Susan one question he said Susan why Susan why my God, my God, Susan knew exactly what the man of God was talking about. She started to cry and confess that she was the one behind her friend's downfall, her friend's suffering, because she was jealous of the friend. The friend was getting a lot of favors. The friend was having a lot of open doors and contracts in her business, and Susan wasn't having it. Glory be to God. So Susan went and put her hands to evil. Susan went behind her friend's back and tarnish the image and character of our friend with our business partners and clients so that our businesses started to go down she started to lose money praise God hallelujah this her very best friend our very close friend who came with her to see deliverance was the one behind her problem people of God I am really here today to enlighten you to shine your eyes brightly so you will not become a victim of unfriendly friendly 
friends in this season beware of the green snakes in green grass that is among you glory be to god psalms 118 verse 8 says it is better to trust in the lord than to put your confidence in man yes you heard me micah 7 verse 5 says do not trust in a friend do not put your confidence in a companion guard the doors of your mouth from her who lies in your bosom the scripture is saying that we need to keep our big mouth shut we do not have to share everything in our lives with everyone trust no one as a friend trust no one as a companion even those who are hugging you lying in your lap kissing you telling you how much they love you and how much they miss you you need to guard the doors of your mouth Let's now look at some of the characteristics of unfriendly friends. And the number one and probably the greatest of them all is that they are great pretenders. They will pretend that they are your greatest cheerleader and that they love you and care for you so much. They will check up on you. They will follow up on you regular saying that they care about you when in fact they are only monitoring your life. When they cannot get you on the phone as they please, they behave frantic like like they were so worried about you when they could not get you on the phone you see unfriendly friends wants to keep abreast of what is happening in your life at all times it helps them with their evil plotting Psalms 55 verse 21 says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter but war was in his heart his words were softer than oil yet were they drawn swords so basically the scripture is saying their mouth is saying something sweet and nice and pleasing to your ears but their heart is at war their hearts are like drawn swords ready to cut you asunder glory be to God don't be deceived by unfriendly friends they are great pretenders for the most part they act like they are helping you but secretly they are pulling you down they will even laugh smile hug and congratulate you but in their hearts they are dying they are angry because they hate to see you happy and prospering say lord remove every unfriendly friend from my life in jesus name Number two, they hate it when good things start to happen to you. Unfriendly friends will have sleepless nights because they do not want to see you win in life. They do not want to see you happy. In fact, unfriendly friends love it when you are afflicted, sad, and depressed. They get great joy out of your misery. In their hearts, they are jubilating. They are saying, serve you right. You think you are better than me. You think you're going to come out better than me. You're not going to enjoy any good thing in this life. This is how the wicked, malicious, unfriendly friends think people of God they want no good thing to happen to you number three their hearts are filled with jealousy and envy simply put they want to be like you and they want to have all that you have so they will do whatever it takes to have what you have or to be like you come on people of God or if they can't have it then you can't have it Number four, they like you more when you are down and stuck in life. Yes, you heard me. The moment your life starts to progress or elevate, their hatred for you increases. They like you better when you were suffering, oppressed, and depressed. They liked you more when you had to come to them all the time for help. They liked you more when nothing was going on for you and your life was wasting away. The sad thing is that you consider them a friend but the unfriendly friend considers you a competition or the enemy number five they do their most dangerous work behind your back yes you heard me they are backstabbers they will talk others out of your blessings they will talk others out of helping you they will turn people against you turn your destiny helpers against you turn your employers against you they will block your blessings 
instead of positively recommending you, they are the ones secretly destroying your reputation and your character to others. To your face, they are with you, but behind your back, they are against you. Unfriendly friends are also destiny killers. Some go as far as seeking evil altars on a regular basis to destroy your life and destiny. They have turned to witchcraft means. Glory be to God. The sixth characteristic is that they are always negative. They will try to discourage you or talk you out of your dreams, aspirations, and goals. They will always come up with some reason to convince you that your idea will not work, that that suggestion will not work. They will highlight all the disadvantages and overlook all the positive possibilities. Unfriendly friends do not want you to venture into something that could possibly make you successful or even more successful than them. Let's now look at what makes an unfriendly friend so dangerous. Unfriendly friends are the worst types of enemies because they use deception to manipulate their victims. They keep their enemies very close under the disguise of a close friendship. Yes, you heard me. The thing that makes them so dangerous and venomous is that they have a wealth of knowledge about your personal life. They practically know everything about you because you have confided in them and you have even made them your advisor and counselor over your life. They know your daily routine. They know your whereabouts at all time. They know your habits. They know your dreams and aspirations. They know all your plans and your next move. They know every person that you know, your family and your friends. So they know who to go to. Come on, people of God. They know when you're awake, when you are asleep. They practically know everything about you. And this helps them with their plotting against you. This helps to give them an edge. Come on, people of God, in being better able to manipulate and control your life. How to identify unfriendly friends. To be honest, it can be difficult to identify them clearly if you don't have the gift of discernment or if God didn't expose them for you to see who they really are. Unfriendly friends have mastered the craft of deception and manipulation. Many are such great pretenders, they can easily convince or trick any person that they are the greatest friend to you. Come on, people of God. They always have the right words to say at the right time and they come off as being super supportive. One of the reasons why you can't identify them so easily too is because some of them had put their hands to witchcraft so they have gone ahead to block your spiritual ears and eyes so that you cannot see them, you cannot recognize them, you cannot detect them in your dreams, you can't even remember your dreams. This is also one of the strategies that they use to keep themselves hidden so you cannot identify them. From my personal experience with unfriendly friends, I would say the first step is to study those who are around you. You need to investigate them. You need to do your regular checks from time to time. You need to study them in and out. The unfriendly friend has studied you in and out. They know everything about you. You need to study more than just the words that they are saying. Study their actions, their body languages, their tone of voice, their pitch, how they behave around other people. You have to be vigilant in this time in order to identify them. The second thing is to put them to a test where you create various scenarios to test their loyalty, their honesty, to see how they would really behave. Glory be to God. And the third thing is you have to watch out for their mistakes. Sometimes how we really find out unfriendly friends is when they slip up and make mistakes. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord, may the unfriendly friends, may the unfriendly friends in my life make mistakes now, make mistakes now that will expose them in Jesus' name. Say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, disconnect me, disconnect me, disconnect me from every unfriendly friend in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
I am now going to share six tips that you can use to escape the trap of unfriendly friends. The first one, you have to ask God for the gift of discernment. Number two, ask God to expose them and remove them. Three, you need to stop divulging all your personal information and plans. It is time to keep your big mouth shut. You do not have to share everything that is happening in your life. Four, don't be so accessible all the time where they can get you every minute, every hour, every second of the day. Create some distance between you and them. Glory be to God. Number five, you need to shine your eyes brightly. Look out for the clues and the signs, the nonverbal signals, the body languages. Glory be to God, how they behave around others, how they behave around your other friends. You have to look out for the other clues and signs. And six, trust no one completely no matter how sweet they are how caring and how supportive they are trust no one completely keep on your detectors at all time glory be to god so there my lovely family i came and i shared on the topic of exposing unfriendly friends exposing those green snakes in green grass god wanted me to come with this topic today because the enemy is out like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour and one of the main strategies he uses is to bring people around you who you trust and you confide in they have a greater advantage to destroy you than anyone else hallelujah i trust that you have been enlightened by this teaching i trust that you will keep your detectors and radars on so you can identify these unfriendly friends before they destroy you hallelujah if you have ever encountered an unfriendly friend before i would like you to comment it in the comment section tell me what that friend did to you and how you discovered them share with us so we can be enlightened so that we can escape the trap and the venom of the unfriendly friend until next time see you in the next video be blessed